poem, according to this book, is from Shakespeare's The Tempest. The lion is wondrous strong, and full of the wiles of wa, and whether he play or take his prey, he cannot do but slaw, slay. I'm giving it a one. It was weird and confusing. I mean, I kind of still got what it was about. I felt the message could be clearer. It was a limerick, Will. Don't overcomplicate things. Hello everybody and welcome to Noise in a Book. Today I'm going to be doing my next short form review. So I thought today I would do a review on a poem that I read a couple months ago? Somewhere in there. So the poem I'm going to be reviewing today is Clothes That Escaped the Great War by Patricia McCary. Patricia McCary won the 2013 National Poetry Competition for this poem, which is how I found out about it. It is absolutely beautiful in a very sad and haunting kind of way. At the very beginning, she hits you with a series of images that are considered to be very scary and haunting and ghost-like, something that you would think of if you were thinking of a scary story. All of a sudden, her mother is talking about how the scariest thing she ever saw as a child was the horse cart that would plod through her town collecting clothing from families who had had fathers and sons and husbands die in World War I, and they would collect these clothes in order to donate them to families who needed them. She's able to communicate to the reader that every article of clothing on this cart represented a human life who had feelings and emotions and could very well be you or me or one of our loved ones. I'm going to also link um, the Guardian article about the poem here in the doobly. I'm assuming that since they can just have it posted on the internet for anyone to read, I'm going to read it on here. I hope that's okay. If it's not, please get in touch with me and I will just edit this part out and there won't be a part after this if I find out that it's not okay that I did this. It's on the internet for everyone to read, so I figured I would just read it to you now in case you rather not click on the link and go read it yourself. Though I would recommend that too. Clothes That Escaped the Great War by Patricia McCrary. Not the familiar ghosts, the shaggy dog of thumb waist that appeared only to children, the chains clanking from the gime seat, nor the black barge at waterside. These were the most scary my mother recalled clothes. Piled high on the wobbly cart, their wearers gone. Overalls caked in dung. Shirts torn from the muscle strain of heavy hemp sacks. Socks mottled with cow cake from the yards nearby, and the old horse plodding on the nod. Its uneven gait never varied whether coming from farms, where lads were collected like milk churns, or going back with its harvest of dungarees scented by first fags, notes in pockets to sweethearts, boots with laces undone, jerseys knitted, pearl plain, around coke fires, and the plod, plod quadruple time. Then the catch in the plod from the clank of the loose shoes from wingulls on the fetlocks of the horse, each missed beat on the lane, a missed beat in a heart, as a small girl she could see at their windows, the mother's pressing memories too young for mothballs and a lavender bag, staring out propaganda posters, dreading the shouts of telegraph boys from lines of defense and attack, as the harness creaked and the faithful old horse clopped forward and back, the lads were new dressed in the years never to be had, piled higher than high over the shafts of the buckling cart. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, I thought it was incredibly touching. I What I love about art and so what I look for in it and what I enjoy about it is the emotional response that it elicits from somebody. The first time I read this poem, I just kind of scanned through it. But when I went back and really started looking at it, it, it definitely put me in that place of so many people died. So many people. Five out of five stars for me. I loved this poem. I put it in my little poetry journal. A little Harry Potter poetry journal that Miss Carrie gave me because she's a wonderful best friend. I would absolutely recommend reading it, getting a copy of it. Beautiful, beautiful work, and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for Patricia McCarthy in the future. Well, that's all for today. I will definitely have another review for next week for uh, 1 p.m., one poem per month. Thank you so much for reading, and have a great day. Oh, I didn't say anything. I started talking about that, didn't I? And I never... Okay. One poem per month. Link in the doobly for the Goodreads. It is trying... From, from what I understood, uh, from what I've gathered from it so far, is they are trying to 
help booktube branch out into other forms of literature besides just long-form novels. And that's something that I'm trying to work on um, in life and specifically with this channel. Uh, I'm trying to read different kinds of literature from different lengths and different all the difference. I'm really excited about this. Uh, first month is gonna be really easy for me because it's limericks, and since I found my little penguin book of limericks, I figured I'll just post whatever video I post next week on the 15th. I'll just record it on the 15th and put it up. So they want you to share a limerick, and that's the other great thing about it, is you don't have to make an extra video to be a part of 1pm and this project. You can just throw it in your video already, and that's kind of how they're trying to get m more poetry out uh, and kind of spread the word about 1pm. So first month is a limerick, video on the 15th or post it on the 15th or tag it on the 15th, go to the Goodreads, they're better at explaining things than I am, and also in the discussion video I think she talks about it too, but I... if she doesn't I'll post the video that she posts about it too. Oh it wasn't, it was her next video. But I'll post that as well. I'll post that down there as well with the start time at uh, 1 p.m. Okay, I saw a video last night that was really interesting um, video on going against popular opinion and on making an honest review when you review things. Uh, every book you're not gonna read is five. I'm gonna link her video in the description and you should watch it because I'm not going to be able to explain it as well she, she does. But it's very, very good and it's very interesting and read all the comments. Very interesting discussions going on down there. The beginning, back at the beginning, once again holding the book upside down. I don't think there's been a day that I haven't done that.